Hey everybody, I'm going to do a third party reading. I just posted all my Zodiac videos too, so go check those out. Alright, let's see. What is going on? So this is basically what's going on with your person and their karmic relationships. You know, seeing if they're, are they leaving? Are, they, are there arguments going on? Are they thinking about you? Just what's going on with that? What is the, the general, ooh, lovers, that's good. This is the bottom of the deck. What is the general energy? So cards, please be clear and direct. What is, okay, I guess all these want to pop out. <laughs> please be clear and direct. What is going on? Ooh. Star, hope. So they're having hope when it comes to you. They're trying to plant the seeds. If they are trapped in a karmic situation, it's like they're trying to figure out how to get out of that. They're trying to have, you know, they're holding on to hope for your relationship, basically. I always see this as somebody that's bored. So I feel like with the karmic, they're just kind of bored and they're kind of just feeling alone and stagnant and just kind of numb right now with the karmic relationship. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. And we have some more cards here, but I need to read these first. Okay. So I've been... For my Scorpio video, and I think there was like one or two other Zodiac um, videos too, that I got really strong third-party energy, and the energy I got was bad. I mean, it was good for you, but it was bad for your person. I got the energy of somebody who's like super controlling, manipulative, um, verbally abusive at the very least. Somebody who's, they're aware that they're losing their person, who they think is their person, to you. You know, they have some awareness of your energy, even if they haven't consciously, like, talked to you or seen you. They might have caught them looking at your pictures online, or maybe if you guys, like, bump into each other in public, they just kind of notice the way that they look at you. Um, it's just that kind of energy. There's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of, just a lot of that. And it's getting more and more chaotic with the karmics and the um, the masculines or the feminines, whatever your story is. But the karmic relationships are getting more and more chaotic because with this Lionsgate energy coming in on the 8th, these relationships are meant to be purged and released. It's like... It's like they're just... They're ending, basically. You know, you know our... Your guides, you know, spirit guides in the universe, they want people to be with their twin flames and their soulmates and life partners. They don't want people to stay in these karmic relationships anymore. They want people to finally learn their lessons and move on so that they can actually have the healthy, stable, loving, good, passionate relationships. Um, so lessons are being learned really quickly. There's a lot of tower moments for a whole lot of people coming in. Just a lot of really quick changes for the collective right now is what I've been picking up. Um, Lots of, like, sudden messages from just out of nowhere, you know, hearing from somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Um, just a lot of, like, chaotic changes, but in a good way. It's, like, it's just this purging process. Um, so, anyway, your person is still planting the seeds. They still have hope for you. They're probably looking at your pictures, feeling nostalgic, missing you, wanting to figure out how they can talk to you. They have this controlling, bitter woman, though. Or bitter man, however, whatever the situation is. But there's just bitter person that's just sort of blocking them from their path. Sort of just trying to seduce and manipulate them. But this, this energy I get is just... The third party energy I picked up the past couple days is just... It's bad. It's so heavy. It's like... It's like the karmic is doing every... The karmics are doing everything they can to manipulate and control and confuse your person like they're they're if they're if they have kids it's like they're threatening to keep the kids away if they leave or they're like threatening suicide or like you know guilt tripping them and making them try to trying to make them feel obligated to them or they're just threatening to spread rumors and lies about them like they're holding they just don't want to lose this battle. So it's like they're holding whatever they can over their heads. It's like they're really, really controlling them and threatening them right now. It's really chaotic energy. Um, but I see a lot of your people actually, like, standing up finally. Like, they're they're over that. Like, they don't want that anymore. Like, they're so turned off by the karmic right now, and they want out. They want this new start with you. They want to plant these new seeds with you. 
you know, you are their partner. You are this creative person, this creative individual. That you're this team. They can have this this power couple, this team kind of energy with you that they can't have with the karmic, you know. And they're wanting to come forward. Like they're in their head about you a lot, and they're wanting to come forward with you know passion and um, just this emotion and just this new start, this new renewed love for life. But they keep being afraid that they've lost you. Five of Cups here. You see this mermaid who's like watching this sh watching this ship go away, sail away, and the mermaid doesn't chase it. You know, the mermaid just kind of feels sad, like that's just like it's lost. Like I don't know how to get that back. You know, but I think your person is kind of gonna start realizing that they actually can get it back, but they have to make the effort. They have to jump off that fucking comfortable little rock they're on, and they have to swim after the ship. Even if it's scary, they have to be, make that brave move if they want you back. Like, yes, there is still hope. You can still have your twin flame. You can still have your soulmate or life partner. But it's like, you got to jump off that comfortable little rock you're sitting on. Doesn't look that comfortable. It looks hard and lonely and cold. Um, you got to jump off that and swim towards your ship and say something. You know, make some kind of effort. <laughs> and I think they're realizing that. They're realizing... They're like in their head, it's like they have this passion and they want to come forward to you. But then they're like, what if that ship has already sailed? What if I've already lost my person, my true love? But I think that they're realizing that they're in the Eight of Swords energy. So traditionally, the Eight of Swords is its like your person is waking up and they're realizing how deep and how real this connection with you is. And traditionally, the Eight of Swords is, you know, there's swords all around and there's an opening like right in I think in front of them and there's the castle and abundance and love and happiness like right in front of them but they just keep focusing on the swords around them um and so it's kind of like I think your person's in this eight of swords energy where they're playing the victim a little bit and they're not realizing that they're looking at all the swords around them but it's like mental it's like they're doing it to themselves all they have to do is be brave take on that warrior energy and step through and step out of that swords and journey to their castle you know journey make the journey to you make the journey to to talking to you to apologizing to just asking how your day is asking how you're doing just making some sort of effort for you you know like they're in their head too much right now they're wanting this new start but they're um i do feel like they're going to realize that that they do have a chance with you still as long as they really make a serious effort and they really actually talk to you and show you that they want you and you know just make some, like some sort of effort like if they make an effort i do feel like they, they there's still hope there and i think they're starting to realize that i think they're starting to realize that they're in the eight of swords energy and that this energy is self-imposed and that it's it's mental and that they, there's a way out there's a way out but they just have to be brave and they have to go after what they want they have to go after what they love which is you their abundance their home their family um this new start with you you know but again, they have these like these fears and worries and they're just in their head a lot. But I think that despite the fears and worries, they they're still trying to they're still going to try to come through with this love offer, I think. Which is good. They're still they're they're trying to push past that fear. They're trying to they're realizing that you're worth it, you know, like. It's worth it to push past the fear. You're worth that, you know, you're, you're worth getting through that fear. Like, you deserve to see courage and effort on their part, finally. Like, you've been their rock. You've been solid for them. You've given them so much. You've been so patient with them. And you deserve for them to finally take control and be assertive and make an effort for you in return. Like, you deserve that energy, finally. And when we got the two of wands here, so it's like making long-term plans, I feel. I feel like maybe um, coming in and talking to you, but maybe being honest with you about the third party and figuring things out together is kind of the energy I feel like, okay, like I do have this third party energy or like I do have this connection going on. Um, but like, how do, how do we work this out? How do I get out of this? Like the karmic is threatening to take my kids away or my, the karmic is threatening to spread lies and rumors about me or the karmic is threatening to... to keep my family away from me or the karmic is um threatening to hurt herself or, or himself or the karmic is um you know manipulating me and and threatening somebody threatening me or threatening someone i love or doing this or that like 
I feel like some honest communication coming in, like, okay, how do we get past that? Like, what do we, how do we make, how do we do this long term? Like, how do I get away from that? How do I start this new life that I want with you? So it's really good because it's like, at least you guys are finally, at least they're finally want, at least they've been, they've been trying to figure this all out on their own for a long time. And I think they're finally starting to realize that they're not going to get clarity on their own. Like, they're only going to get clarity by talking to you. That's where their clarity is going to come from, by being honest and communicating with you. And then you guys can figure it out together. You can figure out how to plant these seeds. You can figure out how to get the masculine away from the karmic. You can figure out how to have this new start with love. You can figure out, you know, boundaries, compromises. You can figure it out together. You figure out what to do next. And you have this true love and you have this deep relationship. So you're going to be supporting each other and helping each other through this and helping each other, you know, help, like that's, that's the only way they're going to get clarity. And I think they're, they're realizing that, that they have to figure this out with you. You have answers for them and they have answers for you too. Like you both need to communicate. It's really important. Um, and I think, yeah, I think they're, they're finally realizing that. So I think when they come in with this love offer, they're going to be honest with you and try to like figure out what to do long term like how are they how how will this work long term like how, what, how do we do this you know that's the kind of energy that I get so it's pretty good it's really good actually I'm glad they're finally getting it together and making some efforts it's been it's sure to have taken their sweet time <laughs> but it's it's really good that they're finally making some effort definitely I'm really happy about that okay so if this resonates, you can uh, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading, my information is below. Thank you.